training, Burger's medal were only the strongest to survive. Twenty-one men, three championships, forty thousand dollars of the grass. Today at the WTO Super Open. like incredible displays of strength then put down that remote you've come to the right place this is the first professional powerlifting championship hello everybody i'm paul ryden and joining me is kieran kidder founder of the world powerlifting organization and a national champion himself back in 1993 and kieran what exactly are we going to see today we're in for a big treat today paul we're going to see some of the best powerlifters in the world lift this lift some huge iron which is going to be very exciting i'm great to refer to them as iron studs and we should say that it's not just professional weightlifters that we might be talking about. We're talking about guys who come from all walks of life. Right. This is an unprecedented first-time event. So until now, the sport has been strictly amateur. It's just been for fun, for notoriety, prestige. There is national and international competition, but there's never been any money involved in the sport until now. All right. And speaking of a way to make a living, we've got some money at stake here. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, it's going to be $40,000, which is going to be a lot of money for a first-time professional powerlifting event. The prestigious titles will be lightweight, middleweight, and heavyweight is what we're looking to crown today. They'll each win $5,000. All right, so there's money to be won. There's champions to be crowned. 21 of the world's strongest men are here to go for it, and our first event will be the squat. So stick around for sports television's ultimate hour of power. <laughs> Welcome back to Daytona Beach, Florida, and the World Powerlifting Organization's first professional championship. And if you've never seen powerlifting, you're in for not only a treat, but a bit of a surprise as well, because it's nothing like the Olympics. Right, Gary? No, it sure isn't. Our veteran referee, Dennis Burke, he's going to explain the differences between the two sports. There are two different regiments. Weightlifting, like you see in the Olympics, is two lifts. You have three attempts at two lifts. And Virtually, you throw the weight over your head and catch it on stiff arms or jump it over your head. It's overhead lifting. There's the snatch where you go from one motion from the ground all the way over your head, catching it on stiff arms and standing up with it. And then there's the one where you jump it to your chest and jump it over your head. Power lifting is raw strength, possibly lifting two to three times as much, depending on, the, on what class of lifter that they are. There are three lifts, and they're designed to be the core strength zones of the body. The one would be testing of the legs of the lower body is the squat or the deep knee bend. Then there's a bench press for the upper body of the chest. And then there's a deadlift for the backs and the legs and the chest together. And technically it's not powerlifting unless it's all three. It's kind of like a decathlon is 10 events. That's, you know, that's that true. Otherwise it would be an odd lift meet or single lift meet. The squat, the lifter is supposed to take the bar out of the rack, step back, lower the bar, bending his knees until the pivot point in his hip is below the top of the knee come back, stand erect. The things that we look for is to make sure that the knees are locked when he starts, knees are locked when he finishes, that he finishes standing upright. Now that we know the difference, let's see it in action. First up, the squat. Up first on center stage at the squat is Brian Schwab, the 159 pounder from Winter Springs, Florida. And don't let the hairline fool you, he is just 26 years old. He loves the rush of competition. He's, uh, as you say, a personal trainer. Involved in a lot of sports over his life. What? Looks good, but I don't think he went quite low enough. Let's see what the judges think. It looks like he's been red light on this. Come on, Tony! Got a few things to say for the camera first. Now he's on to the competition. You just got to get it down a little bit lower and he should be all set. Come on, Tony! He's going to draw on the crowd's yeah. excitement. Feed off that noise. People right. just love it. Hearing your name and your friends and your loved ones is nothing like it. 
Come on, Tony, take it down in the hole, baby. You got the power. He's got it. And it's a good lift. Woo! Coming up now, 28-year-old Wade Hooper, 162-pounder out of West Monroe, Louisiana. Come on, Wade. He's a strength coach at a high school there, making his final attempt. He missed earlier at 694 pounds. Yes, he did. He's made a big jump, unusually, up to 727. If he's successful, this will be a world record in his weight class at 165. This is a lot of weight, 727.5. Let's see what he's got. Probably feels like he's lifting at 727. I mean, I know guys that weigh 220 or more that would like to squat this much. Not to mention someone weighs 165. There's a lot of weight for a man this size. Check the lights. He's got it. Another world record. Good for him. Way to go, Wade. Up next, Tony Caprari, 19 years old. Here's a kid who should be worried more about getting a date to the prom. Trying to lift 611 and three-quarter pounds. And he's only got a 165-pound body. Notice the way the wraps make him move up there like robo squatter. Well, you gotta be a, have the support for handling weight like this. This is a good lift if you're in his class at 28, 30 years of age. Never mind 19. This is just amazing. This kid has unlimited potential, and the sky is a limit for him. Let's see what he does here. 611 on the bar. The man child, Tony Capri from Mississippi. Oh, he does it fairly easy too. And it looks like a good lift. 611 and three-quarter pounds. Tony Caprari. Boy, we're going to see a lot from him. They call him Captain Kurt. Kurt Warren from Jacksonville, Florida, who comes out all pumped up for his final attempt at 600 and three-quarter pounds. And why shouldn't he be pumped up, Kieran? In the back, he lifted 573 pounds. And then on his second attempt at 600 pounds, the Klingons got to him or something. And, well, let's take a look at what happened. Well, he looks good right here. He looks solid. His setup is good. Let's see what happens.